The Nobel Prize in Literature for 2023 is awarded to the Norwegian author Jon Fosse for his innovative plays and prose which give voice to the unsayable. It is through his ability to evoke man's loss of orientation and how this paradoxically can provide access to a deeper experience close to divinity that Fosse has come to be regarded as an innovator not only in contemporary theater. Fosse's sensitive language which probes the limits of words I think that the consistency that he all the time tries to reach for the basic human emotions and experiences uh, that also children have, for instance, that the questions of death, what's the meaning of life, and it, it, it's coming back all the time. The anxiety and insecurity of human beings confronting the basic questions of loss, for instance. And, and I think that he expresses that in his own language, very reduced language and dramatic action uh, in his plays, in his prose and in his poetry. And I think everyone can have access to that. <laughs> I stand here and feel a little numb, but of course very happy for the great honor. I have been involved in the discussion about the Nobel Prize for 10 years, I think. I am used to the excitement around it, but I am used to not getting it. That I got this year was unexpected. It was 1.40 pm or something like that. Mats Malm, who is the secretary of the Swedish Academy, called me when I was driving. It was a way to calm the nerves. No. I would never believe that. I didn't have any big ambitions. I wanted to write and be able to make a living from it one way or the other. I gladly accepted all the good things that happened, but I didn't expect very much, except that I didn't want to give up. And then I had high hopes that publishers would publish it. It will be as before, I am absolutely sure. Writing is a way of living. I started when I was 12 and now I am 64. I have been writing for so many years and more. It's something that I need. If I don't have anything to write on, I don't know what to do. As long as I get to write well and enough for it to be published, I will continue to write. Maybe even if I don't get it to publish it. I do not know. If you have an urge to write, then go ahead. If not, you can leave it alone. You cannot write because you think you will get the Nobel Prize. Then you will certainly not get it anyway. You must write because you want to. I've just spoken to Jung Fosse on the phone. Um, not every laureate believes me when I make the call, but he was prepared to have confidence until one o'clock. 
He was driving on the countryside at Sognefjord, north of Bergen in Norway, and um, we had the opportunity to start speaking about practical matters and the Nobel week in December. I would say that it has to do with that he focuses on human insecurity and anxiety, the basic choices you make in life, very elementary stuff. And I think that, that emotions and experiences that are universal, really. I, I would recommend Morning and Evening, a wonderful little prose work from 2000. Uh, and after that, the Septology, of course, is his magnum opus, this last work that just is completed.